Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tanya Kendall and I love to talk about everything to do with beauty. And today, one of my favourite things to talk about is face masks and that's what we're going to do. I hit social media last night and I asked you guys which face mask you guys would prefer me to do out of these two right here from The Simple Company because I'm excited about these because these say that they're made in Korea and I've heard a lot of things about Korean skincare and how wow it is so I'm actually really excited to be talking to you guys about this this one here is the hydrogel mask it takes five minutes to do but that's not the one that you guys requested which I'm surprised because if I was going to break out to any of these it would definitely be the hydrogel plus the fact that it's only five minutes I would have figured it would have been you know convenient for you guys but that's not the one that you guys wanted. You guys wanted this one here, which is the 15 minute radiance one. And I'm more than happy to be your little guinea pig. Welcome back guys. As I said before, we're going to do a simple face mask from the company Simple. These guys claim to be the sensitive skin experts, so which is great for me because I definitely have sensitive skin. If I'm going to break out with something, as I've said in my previous videos before, I definitely will. Um, if you guys are interested in more sheet mask reviews that I've done, I will leave a link up in the corner here, some of the other ones that I've done. Otherwise, feel free, go ahead and subscribe. I do have other social medias, but the only one that I really sort of dominate is YouTube and Instagram. So on Instagram, I'll tell you when I have upcoming videos, I'll do polls and all that sort of stuff to see what kind of content you guys want me to create. And um, yeah, otherwise, go ahead. You can like me on Facebook or uh, well, follow me on Facebook or Twitter. I do go there, but like I said, Instagram and YouTube are my main platforms. I also have a um, blog, but it's completely irrelevant to anything to do with beauty and skincare. It's just my personal one. So if you really want to get to know me that more, that's all down below as well. So feel free, pop down below. All of my socials are there. Any information about this mask and the other mask that I was just talking about will be there as well. So let's get started. As I said, this is a new mask. Um, so is the other one. And it is the Radiance Boosting Sheet Mask with naturally derived fruit enzymes. It says it's got no artificial perfume or colour, no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin, no alcohol, no added paraben and phthalates, no mineral oils and no animal derived, non-animal derived. So I guess that's vegetarian? I'm not sure. It's 100% natural and biodegradable cotton, which is a bonus for me. I absolutely love that sort of thing. And let's just have a quick squeeze at the back. Let's see. You can pick this up at simple.co.uk. That's the online. Otherwise, where did I pick this up from? Where was I? Where did I go? I do believe I picked this up from Target. Did I? No. I got this from Big W, but you know what? Um, I've seen on Chemist Warehouse website they've had them, not all stores, only the bigger ones sort of stock them, um, so give them a call before then. But I'm pretty sure you can pick these bad boys up pretty, well, everywhere. Um, it was on special, I only paid, I think I paid $2.99 for it, maybe even just $2, so anyway. It says, remove the mask from the sachet and gently unfold, place the mask evenly over your previously cleansed face, which I've done. Leave for 15 minutes and gently peel off mask. Massage to absorb the excess product onto your skin or use a cotton pad to remove. As you're all aware, I don't really like to remove it. Once I have that on my face, I want that to all absorb into my face. I have very dry skin, as you guys know, or if you don't know, now you do. And, um, yeah, my favourite kind of masks are the one that you can just leave it on your skin. There are some out there where you really do. You've got to take it off because it's tacky and I don't like tacky. So... Let's start this. Let's rip her open. Since it's a 15 minute video, what I'll do is I'll stick it on, let you know how it feels. I'm not going to do a patch test. They say that they are the sensitive skin experts, so if I break out, that's an epic muck up, isn't it? Yeah? Right. So anyway, if it messes up and I break out, I guess I get to um, make a new video on how I repaired my skin after a mask. So let's go. Let's get started. Let's rip her open. Doesn't smell like anything yet. Alright, okay, I made that really awkward opening that up. Alright. Yes, it's very gloopy. Here we go. Feels nice. Doesn't feel like it's going to 
rip under my skin. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's going to rip when I pull it apart, unlike some of them that I've tried, although some of those ones that feel like they're going to fall apart I've found to be the most comfortablest. Comfortablest? Is that a word? The most comfortable. So here we go, another ghost mask looking thing. Let's get it on. Alright. Now I will get this in my hair people. And now what I'm going to do is I've got, an, I've got another mirror over here that's so much easier so forgive me. Alright, let me look in this guy. Okay. Let's get it on. It's all in my hair. I should have really slid that back. I need to wash my hair anyway, so that doesn't matter. Although, if I can avoid it, that would be great. It's, mm -hmm. Oh, it's got one of those nose flaps too. Let's see if I can pull it down. See? Nose flap. I don't like those. Um, it's too big, so I'm just going to fold that back just a bit. Push it all in. Bring it under. Okay. And the dreaded lip part. I hate those. I did try a mask um, the other week, which, if you want to go and check it out, great, where um, I absolutely loved the mask. This bit here didn't fall down. It was fantastic. I have high hopes for this one. But, mm, okay, there we go. We've got it on. Right? About as good as I'm going to get it anyway. The mask isn't too big. I mean, I do have a little bit up in my hair. I'm sure I could fix that if I really want to, but I'm not really bothered. Um, like I said, I need to have a shower, wash my hair. Seems like it defeats the purpose of me doing a mask, right? But you know what? That's okay. All right. Now, we're going to leave that for 15 minutes and we're going to see how it feels. Right now, it feels great. I don't really smell anything. I mean, there is a smell there, but it's it's almost a nothing smell, do you know? I can't explain this properly. Um, so yeah, no, no irritating smells. My face isn't irritated. Feels quite cooling actually. Um, um, this little flap already is starting to irritate me, so don't be surprised if I cut that off before we come back. So I'm going to leave that on for 15 minutes, and I'm going to come back to you guys, and we're going to pull it off, and we're going to see what happens, and I'm going to let you know my, and I'm going to let you know my thoughts. All right, all right, guys, and we're back. Alright, so it's been 15 minutes and um, this little flap, like I said, did annoy me a little bit, but for the rest of the mask, I underestimated it. The rest of this mask pretty much stayed on when I was talking. Um, I've done a lot of facial movement and it hasn't really budged except for this little flap, which I sort of expect now. There's not much you can do about that except for completely ignore it or cut it off, you know. Um, yeah, how do I feel? Well... It's very cooling, I've got to say that, like really, really cooling, almost borderline where you can't tell whether it's cooling or warming, but definitely, I, I have to say, I'm pretty sure it's cooling. Um, one, one of the things that I did notice on the packets that I didn't read is that it said that one sheet mask equals 20 days of moisture, and I find that really hard to believe, especially for someone like me who has really, really dry skin. Um, I guess maybe if you had like a really, really hardcore um, skincare routine. I don't see it. You know, uh, be great. Wouldn't it be fantastic if like 20 days later, let's just say I didn't use any moisturizers, any oils, anything like that, and I just used this and boom, beautiful skin for 20 days. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Anyway, look, a lot of companies make a lot of claims and I don't know, maybe something stays in your skin for 20 days. Who knows? But you know what? Let's get to the punchline. Let's take this off. Let's see if my face has reacted. Um, rub it in. I'll give you my thoughts. All right, just going to use this one for now. So, here we go. All right, let's put that down. So, straight away, I don't know if you can tell, I might actually zoom in for you. I can see that I've got all these little red dots and this bit here, which is usually where I break out the most. So I've got all these little sort of red pinky dots all over my forehead and this big pink area here. Now the last mask that I tried on did something similar as that, something similar to that that this has as well and my skin was absolutely perfectly fine. So I don't think that there's going to be any problem there. Now I did say to rub it in, there is still quite a lot of um, fluid 
moisture product that's the word I was looking for product on my skin and I really don't think I'm going to I might actually rub down some down my neck I don't think I'm going to be able to rub it all in so it is probably one of those ones where you might want a cotton pad nearby face washer I'm not sure but I'm actually just going to rub it in a little bit and then I just might leave it on my face for my face to absorb the rest uh, what I'll do is is that I will Put below later on, like, you know, an hour or two later, um, whether or not this uh, redness went away and how long it took. I'm pretty sure that it is going to go away. I'm not concerned at all because I'm not having any um, burning sensations or anything like that where I would be concerned. Alright, freeze frame, guys. Look, I know I said I was going to put it down below and I still will, but just so you know, it's been about half an hour. Most of the redness is gone, so I... I'm not going to be able to do that video for you or repair my face for this one. But what I wanted to reiterate to you guys is, is it doesn't matter if a product says that it's kind of skin or that they're experts or anything like that. As much as I love the price of this, the feel of it, the comfortability and everything like that, it still could cause you problems. So if you are going to try out new masks and you do have sensitive skin, do a patch test first. It's simple. Rip the packet open, stick your finger in, put it where you would break out the most and then try it. Like I said, I don't mind being your guinea pig, but why repair your skin if you don't have to? The whole point of sheet masks is for relaxation and to put something good into your skin, not to make your skin worse than what it already was. So I'm glad you guys stuck around for this, and um, yeah, I still will let you know down below what it feels like tomorrow. I don't feel like it made me radiant or anything like that. I feel that it really didn't do much, so I'm not 100% sold on it. I did enjoy the cost factor, the relaxation... I'm sure that there's something good there. But like I said, I'll let you guys know down below how that goes. And be safe, guys. Do a patch test. On the last note, the only real problem that I had with this uh, face mask, other than the fact that it broke me out, is that afterwards, it's got this really sort of sticky residue. Like after all the product sort of rubs in or absorbs in or anything like that, my skin feels really sticky. Like sometimes I put my head down and then I'm feeling it, that little bit of tackiness. And I really like that. So look, this mask has got some pros and it's got some cons. The pros are is that it's cheap, that it feels nice, that it sticks to the face really, really well. The cons are obviously that if you have hypersensitive skin, um, then you're going to have the reaction that I did or possibly even worse. And the tackiness afterwards. Um, I'm excited to try that five minute one, but also a little bit terrified as well because, I mean, five minute mask sounds like convenient to me. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. But um, I, I don't hate this mask. It's not my top favorite. The price is great. That's what I'm looking at a lot. But for a company that claims to be the um, sensitive skin experts, I'm not sure. Not sure there. So check out this mask, especially if you've got um, normal kind of skin uh, and you're not worried about breaking out or anything. It's a great one. Grab it for your daughter. Grab it for your friends. Girls night out. Same thing as I usually tell you. Just like I said, if you do have sensitive skin or you are concerned, make sure you do a spot test first, right? Because if you don't, you could end up with my problem. Not that it's a problem anymore. If you have a closer look, it's all gone away. But yeah, just be safe. Alright guys, anyway, look, that's pretty much it. Go back to whatever it is that I'm yapping about now and um, have a great day. Um, I like it. I really do. For the price and the comfortability, there was um, no nasty smell. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like a nice smelling um, face mask. It makes it feel a little bit bougie and, you know, luxurious, I guess. But I also like to have a face mask on that's not overpowering. Sometimes I just want to kick back and I just want no fuss. And this mask usually costs about $5, but most of the time you can find it on special. And you know what, $5 or less, it doesn't matter to me. If I can just go to the store and pick up a no fuss mask for $5 that's going to help my skin and... Yeah, for sure. I will definitely, definitely buy this again. Um, do I think that it's done anything super fantastic for my skin? Um, not a lot of masks do, actually, and usually the results you can tell sort of the next day. Um, I'd be really, really interested to check back with you guys on my Instagram page tomorrow to let you know how well this actually um, translated into my skin the next day. It's translated the right word. It probably isn't, but... 
nonetheless tomorrow if you're really really interested to see um, whether or not that uh, there's going to be anywhere near 20 days of moisture check my Instagram page tomorrow I'll leave a link up here somewhere for you or if you don't get to see the link straight away don't forget all of my socials are down below just check the see more all the ingredients and the um, directions and everything like that for this mask should be down below as well and all the places that you should be able to get them maybe not all the places but at least some of them thanks guys if you guys have watched the end of the video i'm absolutely wrapped i'm happy i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got something out of it even if it's just seeing what the mask looks like when it's on um or any reactions that have happened um it hasn't gone away yet, but like I said, I'm not concerned. Um, feel free if you want to see any of my other videos. I have tons and tons of face mask reviews, product reviews, makeup reviews, tags, Bella Box subscription, beauty box reviews, and all that sort of stuff. Go ahead, press the like button. Is it there? Is it there? I'm not sure. I can never tell this reverse camera stuff. It, anyway, I think it's to the left, but whatever. Feel free, go ahead, subscribe, but like I always say, don't forget to check the bell, because if you don't, you won't get notified every time I upload a video. I will be definitely trying that other mask for the other people um, who are interested in seeing that mask as well. I've got it, I'm going I'm to post about it. But so once again, guys, thank you very much for sticking around. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. It helps other people see the video, and I would really, really appreciate it so I know that I'm making the kind of content that you guys want to see. If there's anything else that you guys would like to see that I haven't thought about yet, go ahead, give me a comment down below. Um, go ahead, feel free. Check out all my social medias. Hook up with me if you want to see any more of the content that I'm producing. I have something special coming up soon. It's got to do with makeup. It's got to do with food. It's a little mini-series that I'm trying to just sort of work out all the little details. If it sounds like something that you'd be excited in or um, anything like that, let me know below as well. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, but it's going to take a little bit to set it up. So um, bear with me. I will maybe give you a little bit of a sneak peek on what's happening behind the scenes with that later on. Um... I really, really hope it works out. I think this is going to be a fun little mini-series in my channel, and uh, I'd love to know whether you guys want to see something new. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Take it easy, guys, and thank you so much for sticking around. Bye.